Richard Southern joins us now. We mentioned this a little earlier in the show, Richard. Justin Trudeau's plane suffering a little damage on the opening day of the election campaign when a media bus scraped the plane's left wing. And that got us thinking, how are the big party leaders planning to travel coast to coast over the next few weeks? Everyone was joking about the left wing, by the way, getting mm. damaged. Anyways, uh, yeah, you may have flown on both of these leaders' uh, planes because they are rented from major airlines. So the Liberal Party has rented a Boeing 737-800 from Air Transat. It's 13 years old. Erica, there's no plush uh, business class seats mm. at the front for the Prime Minister. Just the first six rows have a bit of extra leg room. The plane could fly 4,300 clicks. Uh, without a stop. Uh, Sheer, by the way, has unveiled a, a, uh, his jet in a flashy video, which we're looking at here. It is an A319, and Sheer's jet here, this is rented from Air Canada. It's 21 years old. It does feature Air Canada's uh, domestic business class seats up front, so Mr. Sheer has a nice uh, little get up up front there. I can travel a little bit further nonstop. It's not clear, Erica, what the campaigns are paying for the jets. Mm. The NDP haven't revealed theirs, and the Greens. They've got to be environmentally conscious. They're flying commercial. Makes sense. All right, and the first federal debate is just over two hours away right here on City TV, and it will be interesting to see if the gambling odds shift after tonight's head-to-head -head event. You can actually bet on this uh, online. Uh, I think it's a little illegal, but you can do it. Mm -hmm. uh, and so who's going to be the next uh, prime minister? According to Bodog, it's a tie right now. Justin Trudeau has uh, minus 130 odds, and so does Mr. Shear. So a dollar on each of those gentlemen would net you 77 cents. It's a tie, according to Bodog. Uh, Jagmeet Singh, 20 to 1 odds. Maxine Bernier, a dollar on him, wins 66 bucks. Interestingly enough, Elizabeth May, kind of the outsider here, right. a dollar on the Green Party leader would net you 250 bones. Wow. Who's going to win uh, the seats to win? So the over-under on seats is 155 and a half. That's notable because, Erica, you need 170 to form a majority. Mm -hmm. And so I guess gamblers are thinking, we're not going to see a majority. And that leads us to the final uh, bet. Will the winning party have a majority? And overwhelmingly, bet, better, bet, bettors are saying no. A dollar on no wins just 33 cents. So they're not sure who's going to be the next PM, but gamblers are sure we're going to see a minority government. Very out. interesting. All right, let's leave the election behind for just a few minutes and focus on something else near and dear to our hearts, both of our hearts. <laughs> yeah. Toys. So there's a Toy Hall of Fame in Rochester, New York, and they have finalists out for the toys, the all-time best toys. Yes. First off, you, you were saying you love this. It's uh, the Care Bears. I love Care Bears. Remember the Care Bear countdown? Yeah. Three, two, one. Two, one. Yeah. It was a grumpy Care Bear, too. He was not having any of it. Uh, Matchbox, Matchbox uh, cars were nominated as well. They got their name because they used to come in a match, an actual Matchbox. Right. Right. Uh, Jenga. You know the jingle. I do. You take it from the bottom and you put, put it, it on top. top. Uh, and uh, here's the interesting one, too. Smartphones. Is, is a smartphone a toy, do you think, Erica? I would not classify it as a toy uh, when I was growing up. Do you have a favorite toy growing up? I used to have a, a dreadful driving uh, game. Yeah, I had to yeah. lay a Teddy Ruxpin. You remember the Teddy Ruxpin? <laughs> yeah, talk, of course. Teddy All right, Richard, but kids play you. on the smartphones now. That's what they do. <laughs> Richard, thanks so much. Yep.